Hey, what's up guys? Jian here of Gadget Pilipinas. Last week, we got the iPhone 14 Pro Max we bought from Kim Store and Digital Walker. You can check out our unboxing videos I posted on our TikTok channel. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is an amazing smartphone, especially when it comes to taking videos and photos. But what if I told you that you can actually shoot a video using your favorite camera and use your iPhone as your monitoring and recording tool simultaneously? Now, before I get this confusing, I think it's best that I explain more. Let's get started. This is the Axon Simo. This is a mobile capture card that lets me use my iPhone as a monitoring, recording, live broadcasting tool for my more professional cameras. Now, the idea is actually simple. This phone's camera is amazing, but instead of using its native cameras, we're connecting this phone to our camera through the Axon C app and use my camera as the main capture device. Now, before I get to the features, the CMO is now available for $180. You can buy it via Amazon. I have an affiliate link in the description or in our bio if you want to buy one for yourself. Axon did not pay us anything for this video, but they sent over this CMO for us to feature on this channel. The Axon CMO is a monitoring tool. I can just simply connect this to my camera using a micro HDMI and HDMI cable, connect the CMO to my phone, hook up a Sony NPF type battery and use it as my usual camera monitor. Now, what's good about this is that I don't have to rely on my camera's very small articulating monitor. I also get better monitor brightness thanks to the iPhone 14 Pro Max's 2000 nits outdoor brightness. Now, just to let you know, this is great for shooting vlogs and video coverage outdoors. Now, before you get excited and tell me that I'm not maximizing my smartphone to its full potential, I will be posting a video in the future that details the content creation power of the iPhone 14 Pro Max and why I think that it's more than enough for content creation. Anyway, back to the CMO. The monitor uses 1080p60 as input and H.264 as video encoder. Now, while you're stuck with this setup, I think it's just more than good enough for an on-the-go recording using your camera setup. Again, it's your choice if you wish to use your iPhone's own camera system. At the bottom of the display, you'll see additional options to change some picture and monitoring settings. Again, whatever changes you do here won't affect your actual camera's output. You can simultaneously record with your camera, as you normally would, and your Axon C app, which saves on your iPhone storage. The changes you make on the app only affects the video saved on your iPhone via the Axoon C app. Let's have a quick overview of the C app. On top, you'll find the following icons, the video input encoder, record status that tells you if you're recording or not, audio input, encoder, and settings. Tapping the settings icon brings out the option to change the video bitrate up to 30 Mbps. You can also add or delete icons from this menu. Now, at the bottom, you'll find the following tools. You have to take note that each tool has its own setting. Simply click on the tool you want to adjust and tap the gear icon at the very end to access its settings. So you've got saturation levels, RGB channels, histogram, waveform, focus peaking, LUT, which allows you to record with an applied LUT but gives you a preview with full contrast and saturation if you want, you also got zebras, false color, camera audio metering, frame guide so you know if you or your subject is within the frame when shooting, which I find very helpful, especially during post-production. D-squeeze, which can be helpful when shooting with anamorphic lens. You also got grids, display settings, image flip, overlay, and screenshot button, which snaps a photo of what you see on your monitor screen. On the right-hand side, you'll find the record button, which I think is very useful if you want to quickly take a video of what you're filming and post it in social media. You have to take note though that if you applied a picture profile on your video, you will be posting it as is. So if you are the type of creator who shoots and posts videos right away, be sure to turn off any LUTs on your Axum C app. Another feature built into the app is the live button. This allows you to go live uh, via Facebook or YouTube without any computer needed. 
Now, you'll be surprised that this is just one of the features that you can do with the Axoon Simo. Now, it is advertised that it is the best mobile companion for your professional camera for posting or going live on the go, but it can actually do more than that. For instance, you can just simply use this HDMI connector and also this gaming console, and you can just simply use the Axon Simo as Oh, okay, so I guess we'll have to do this next time. I think we have to talk about its other hidden features next time. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, uh, this is the best time to subscribe. We also have a, a few affiliate links before you can buy stuff that we feature on this channel. This has been Gian of Gadget Pilipinas, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.